it's time for me to plant some more seeds to get some seedlings to plant into the garden. So I was debating whether to do that inside under grow lights on shelves or do it here in the in the garden greenhouse. Because light is the most important factor in plant growth, I decided to do it outside where it can get true sunshine instead of sunlight from grow lights. It's also plenty warm enough to grow seeds outside. It's getting down to the mid 70s in the evenings and it's in the mid 90s during the day. You may ask, well why not just plant the seeds right into the soil? The biggest problem I've had this year with planting seeds in the soil is rodents eating the seedlings. Having a seedling table eliminates that problem. I can grow my plants strong and healthy until they're big enough to plant in the garden and I have found that when the plants are larger when they go in the garden the rodents don't chew on the leaves. Another advantage in using the table is if you're planting seeds in the ground and there's any disease in the soil your plants can get sick. Here you'd be using a potting mix which you know is clean and you would avoid any possible contact with diseases in the ground. So let's talk about how I built this table. This table is very inexpensive to build. It's less than $20 in lumber, a, a few screws, some scrap PVC, and some piping strapping. As you can see, the table fits nicely inside the four foot wide grow box. The table legs I cut at 30 inches long. So one two by four by 10 foot treated lumber makes all four legs. The table is 21 inches wide and four feet long. Let me show you why we have the PVC attached to the side of the table. At some point it's going to get pretty cold out here and would not be conducive to growing seeds outside. Even though I want to have as much sunlight on the seeds instead of artificial light as possible. To overcome that problem what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to cover this with plastic. To achieve that we're using the same method that we're using on the 18 inch grow boxes and that is we use 3 quarter inch 200 PSI PVC and inside of that we have half inch schedule 40 PVC. This allows us to easily add and remove the A-frame to this table. Once the A-frame is in place we simply drape greenhouse plastic over it from the top all the way down to the ground and either place an inexpensive heater below the table to warm the soil that the seeds are growing in or we add a heating mat. I'll show you that in a moment. I cut this PVC to four and one quarter inch in length. I used the two and a half inch long galvanized exterior screw that holds this together to hold this in place also. This is one inch from the bottom. Then I have some piping strap that I've screwed on to the wood and attached it to hold this in place. To make the A-frames I use the same template I used to make the mini greenhouse in the 18 inch wide grow boxes. I'll have a link below this video linking you to that video so you can see how to make that template and bend this PVC. The frame of the table is made out of treated 2x4 and the top of the table is treated 1x4. I used 1 and 5 8 inch galvanized screws to screw the top of the table on and 2 and a half inch long galvanized screws to screw the 2x4s together. To grow seedlings, the soil really needs to be between 70 and 85 degrees. You really have two options to achieve that. One is you can get a heater and place it underneath the table and regulate the heat that way. And because this will be covered with greenhouse plastic, you're only heating one tenth of the space in the, in the garden greenhouse versus the entire greenhouse. You're also having a double layer of plastic because you have the plastic on the outside of the greenhouse and then you have the plastic over the seedling table. The other option and the reason why this is 21 inches wide is to use a seedling heat mat. As you can tell this table fits this heat mat perfectly. The heat mat is 48 inches long and 21 inches wide. So to accommodate possibly using the seedling heat mat that we have I made the table to fit. Another reason why the table is this width is because some people like to use these plastic 10 inch by 20 inch seedling trays. Here if you use the inserts you can get 50 seedlings per tray. If you wanted to plant more you would simply use this tray by itself, fill it with a potting mixture. I use sand and sawdust like I do in my grow box and then 
simply make rows and you could literally plant hundreds of seeds in each box. The disadvantage of using these is that they are very flimsy and will not last very long. But they are inexpensive and available at big box stores and nurseries. Once your seedlings have started to grow, you may need to do what my wife calls bumping them up. And that is moving them from the small space that they have to grow to a larger pot. This would allow you to have 74 plants on this table here. If you originally started with 200 plants, this would be the time when you would build another table just like this and move your plants and increase your growing space. When you bump them up, it may be warm enough that you don't need to cover them with plastic and put an A-frame over them or put a heater underneath or a heating pad. But if it's still chilly and you need to do that, simply build the table just like we have here, adding a heating pad or a heater below it. Placing these pots in this little container here makes it much easier to move them around to take them into the garden when they're ready to be planted. This is actually pretty sturdy and works well. Again, it's inexpensive plastic, so don't expect it to last more than a season or two. If you're looking for something more sturdy that has greater longevity, you may want to build these seedling boxes. Please check the links below this video to view the video where I show you how I built this 18 by 18 inch seedling box. The advantage to this is you can simply fill this up with sand and sawdust or whatever growing medium you want, take a scrap piece of wood, and then you simply make indentions across here, making little grooves. You drop your seeds in, cover them with sand, and then water them. You can literally grow a thousand seeds per box. Then when these seeds are ready to be bumped, you can put them in another 18 inch box, add pots to them if you'd like, and then use this to transfer them out into the garden. Regardless of which method you use to plant your seeds in, whether you're using the plastic containers or the wooden containers, one of the keys to success in growing seedlings is proper watering and nutrition. Do not fertilize the seeds at all until they sprout and are above ground. Once they're above ground, what I like to use is the Midlatter Constant Feed Fertilizer and a soup can that we've punched holes in. I simply take the Constant Feed Fertilizer, I dip this in a bucket with the Constant Feed, let the water run through the holes as I put it over the plants, and water the plants. You'll find the recipe for the Midlatter Constant Feed Fertilizer in the Midlatter Gardening Course book. Check the link below this video for that book. Growing your own seedlings can dramatically increase the productivity of your garden and save you a substantial amount of money from buying seedlings at a big box store or nursery. It's a fraction of the cost to grow your own plants. Having a seedling table outside where it can get full sunlight is going to be a great advantage to your seeds. Using a heating mat or an electric heater, once this is covered with plastic, will reduce the cost of heating the soil and allow your plants to grow healthy and strong. The biggest impact I've seen in having a successful garden is having healthy seedlings. By growing your own seedlings, you can control the health of your plants. This is LDS Prepper reminding you, if you are prepared, you shall not fear. And if you take the time to build a seedling table before cold weather sets, get your heating mat or your heater to keep it warm, cover it with plastic, and put this on your back porch, or even better yet, inside your midlighter in the garden greenhouse, you'll have healthy, strong plants. You'll be able to extend your season by planting earlier and increase your harvest.